Once upon a time, a farmer had three sons, Jim, Ken and Sam, and a large field. He was a happy man except for one thing. In the last days of summer, every year, something ate all his crop. He decided to talk to his sons about it. My sons, I need your help. End of summer is here and I'm afraid something will eat all our crop again. Find a way to protect it. You must guard the field every night till summer has passed. Okay, father, I will guard it starting tonight. When night fell, the oldest brother went to the field and stood guard. But suddenly he heard a loud noise. Who is there? He got no response, but the noise grew louder and louder. Scared, Jim ran away from the field. The next night, Ken went to the field to guard it. It had not been too long when suddenly there was a loud noise yet again. Hello? Who is there? Come out now. There was no answer except the noise continued. Scared, Ken too ran away from the field. Something is in the field. I can't be here. The youngest son, Sam, decided to take over from Ken. And went to guard the field the next night. As he was doing his job, he heard a loud sound. There's that loud sound that Ken and Jim described. Let me follow it. Unafraid, Sam went to where the sound was coming from. As he went further into the field, he found the most beautiful, sparkling white horse that anybody couldn't have ever seen. On its back was a bronze armor suit. Sam went to the horse and patted him. Hello there. You are so beautiful. Do you want a cube of sugar? The horse quickly ate the sugar cube from Sam's hand. Then he dropped the armor at Sam's feet and galloped away, leaving the crops as they were. I will hide the armor in the field. The next year, the horse came back again and in exchange of a cube of sugar, he left a silver armor for Sam. And the year after that, it left him a gold armor. One day, there was an announcement in the village. The king announces that any man who can climb the glass hill at the far end of the kingdom will be allowed to marry the princess. The man must climb the mountain and rescue the princess who is sitting on the top of the glass hill. Must do this. I am better than the other men of the village. And so Jim started his climb up the glass mountain. But he had hardly made some distance when he slipped and fell. 
Ha ha! Watch me. I will do it and marry the princess. Ken had hardly gone 15 feet high when he also slipped and fell. Let me try it, brother. If I succeed, I will be lucky to marry the princess. Ken and I could not do it. What makes you think that you can? Yes, you will never make it. Yes, maybe I won't, but I will still try. Sam left his brothers and started walking to the glass hill. He will never make it. Yes, I also don't think he will. Just then everybody saw a rider wearing a bronze armor, riding a sparkling white horse climbing the mountain. The rider managed to reach one third of the way and then fell down. Sometime later, the rider came back in a silver armor with his horse and went up the hill again. He went up two thirds the way and fell down. A while later, the rider came back wearing a gold armor and rode his horse up the hill again. This time, he made it. Who are you, rider? The rider took off his helmet and it was Sam. My name is Sam, princess. I am here to rescue you. Sam brought the princess down from the hill where they were welcomed with loud cheer from all the villagers and king's men. They were married soon after.